It is worth noting that Russia has a track record of not admitting the scope of shipyard accidents and also other naval incidents that have happened is now this dry dock which is located at the 82nd Repair Shipyard in Russia, apparently went down for no reason, or they don't, they don't know right now any of the details, and we're going to be hard-pressed to get any. Right now they're saying that many people were injured, there appears to be casualties that were involved, and all Russia is saying is that the ships were not hurt. So this dry dock, which their aircraft carrier was sitting at, just sinks out of nowhere. And right now they're saying that the cranes came toppling down, uh, other equipment comes smashing down, and this is per certain reports of people that were in the area and other news agencies that had got the initial word out. But in terms of the military themselves, Russia themselves admitting to anything, they're not. They're not saying much of anything besides the ship's are okay. Now, they don't want to go saying, yeah, we took heavy damage to our only aircraft carrier that's in operation. But right now, they're saying that this aircraft carrier was going undergoing much-needed complex overhaul after years of deferring the project. They're saying that the scope of the work has been narrowed and this thing was supposed to be overhauled and returned to the fleet by 2021. Now they're saying that because they have other overhauls planned in terms of large Soviet-era ships that they're trying to redo, that this could take some time. I've talked about in the past, though, how Russia has an extended fleet of icebreakers, which gives them a major advantage when it comes to the Arctic and maneuvering in that area. So they do have an advantage there, but in terms of this, this has left them in a position that I'm sure that they're not liking too much. But this is the latest in terms of this dock sinking. If I get any other details as to why, I'll let you guys know. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. I'll leave a link below. It's been Dabu7.